and welcome to another Cybex help video and this help video is based on our new Cybex CAN logging software. This software is being derived to actually help us support dealers and also for dealers and end users to be able to see more what's going on and actually uh, help improve uh, their setup if needs be. So what does it basically do? Well, most of the cars that are in the field these days have got a CAN bus based system on them and a lot of our products utilize this CAN bus interface uh, that's on our hardware. So for example, our water and methanol injection controller, our all drive controller, our S7, etc. they all use CAN bus. So what we've done is we've basically allowed our own hardware to actually become a CAN bus analyzer. And with the help of some really useful software, we've now got the ability to be able to monitor that CAN bus data and actually export it to be able to send to our support team and also be able to send to uh, other people if you wanted to as well. So let's go over that and where you find it. So on the download section in the software now, you'll see a new Cybex CAN logger that will come uh, be present on the website. It's not there at the moment, but when this video is released, it will be there. And when you download that software and open it up, it looks just like this. So I'm actually connected at the moment to one of our units, but I'm just gonna disconnect and imagine that you have literally just plugged in the USB cable into your piece of hardware, and then you've just opened up this software. Now, first of all, let's, let's talk about what hardware and what ECUs that we have at the moment that actually support this. So the S7i, S7 Plus, the water methanol injection, the all-wheel drive controller, and the new X10 and X20 range that's coming out all have the ability to use this CAN logger. The tiny CAN bridge, which is used also on another uh, load of our kits uh, that use different ECUs like the S8 and S12, that also has the ability to do it, but only with the latest versions of software, um, latest ENC files that are used. Now, you can easily check that on an S7. All of our all-wheel drive and water injection modules and X10 and X20s will have that as standard because they were born with that function uh, there from day one. The S7 Plus has been added recently uh, in the last six months. We've been slowly, obviously, waiting to release the CAN logger to make sure that a lot of the units in the field have that ability to obviously log CAN data already. To check if you actually support that on your S7 Plus, if you connect to the S7 Plus on SCAL and look at the master slave number, that will actually tell you whether you support it or not. So the first number, the eight, is the product ID. And then the second number, the eight, is the software version level. Anything that's eight and above will support the CAN logging, okay? If you're at version five, six, seven, then just get in contact with support at cybex.com and we can send you an updated ENC file with the ability to have the CAN logging if you need it. So let's come back to the Cybex CAN logger now and show what it actually does. So I've plugged in the micro USB into uh, my water methanol injection controller here and just gonna click connect. If when you click connect, it comes up with a box that says this device does not support this feature, then get in contact with support and they can send you a, uh, an update which will support that, obviously. Once you've done that, you can click start and you can then see the CAN data flowing that's going into the device. Now, presently, for uh, intellectual property reasons, we don't allow you to monitor the transmit data that we're sending out of our S7 Plus ECUs, um, but you can monitor everything that else is on the bus um, that is being received. Uh, so, as you can see here, this is a stream of data that's flowing from an external ECU and, and you can do some really powerful things with that now. So the first thing to point out is that you've got the ability to filter the IDs that are being monitored. So for example, if we want to just do it, filter the 380 frame, we can just do that, include it in the includes, and then you'll see then there are only filters on the 380 frames. What you can then do you can, is also exclude certain frames. So you can add an exclude into here, and then when you basically click on that, you're basically, you won't see that frame included in the data cache. Now, what you've also got under the markers here, these are really, really useful. So let's say you want to point out to a dealer uh, an issue that's occurring on the car or something that's not quite right. Under the, um, the marker section, you can basically click a marker, and what it will do is it will set a marker in the data. Now you can set three of these, and once you then stop the data and go to export, you can set the marker IDs here. Generally speaking, these are just useful to be left alone because our support staff will know 
to look out for these markers if uh, basically a dealer is trying to point out something to us. The file format, ASCII, the vector format is really useful. It's used by most people that use analyzing software. It's a general uh, format that is used pretty much by everyone in, this, in the industry. So just export it to that and then uh, you can then email that to us and we can monitor the data. Clear the data and then you can start logging again. So to basically capture the data, start, do what you need to do with the markers or set a filter, hit stop, export, and then you can email that log. And it's really useful to be able to see exactly what's going on. You can change the data format into decimal, hexadecimal, or binary if you want to look at certain bits. But generally speaking, hexadecimal is the, uh, the standard in which we want to see. And even if you do change this to binary or decimal, it doesn't affect anything in the log on our end. Okay, so hopefully you get using this. Uh, hopefully it's useful for you for also when you're setting up dashes or other stuff like that. Uh, it saves having to use external CAN um, sniffing tools and, uh, and uh, hopefully this uh, helps you out.